Struggling to find profitable t-shirt niches? I have five low competition niches that are perfect for 2024. And also if you're unaware, this is my top research design vault, 460 plus niches. We should be hitting over 500 niches by the end of this month. Definitely will, honestly. I release niches every single week as far as design inspiration and different ideas and what's selling as of right now, what's trending and what are people are buying and you're trying to get ahead of the competition to help you make sales with your print on demand business. Um, there's a lot of people back here that are having success with this. There's, you can see what you can get, the niche name, related keywords, number of competition and the link. There are people back here that are making sales, making money and have a better understanding of what they should be designing for when it comes to creating a design for a t-shirt, right? So that's the one most important thing when people look at any other stuff, it's like they don't know what's selling and this is like what they should be creating. Everything is trademark checked and copyright checked back here too as well, so you don't have to worry about that. But I always recommend that you always double check for this. I say this in all my videos because I'm human. I do make mistakes on my end too as well. And it happens to me sometimes where I'll you know create something then I go back and check, I'm like, wait up, ah, oh, dang. It's trademark. I can't create this design. So it's all, you always double check everything that you do because it's your business too as well. If you're trying to take this serious and make money and take it to that next level, I highly recommend Top Research Design Vault. All right, so here is the first niche idea. We always almost win. Okay, it's a sports fan t-shirt. Now, 4.2 out of 5, 32 ratings. You can see what they have going on. It's like an orange and white text-based only. So I want you guys to pay attention to this too as well. When you're looking at this and showing you these different ideas that are selling right now or just different concepts and ideas behind it for you potentially to create a winning t-shirt design in a niche because that's the main goal behind this is just to understand what's selling and what possibly can you create with this. Now I can see this working just different colors in general, you know, just black and white, orange and white. Think of like different like uh, sports teams without using any of their logos. So that's one way to get around that. I want you to understand that. Don't just, oh yeah, I'm gonna go create this for a certain team and you don't have the rights to do that. I'm not saying to do that. I'm saying to just create a color scheme around like your maybe your favorite colors or just something that you think would be really cool or your favorite team as far as like, let's say like baseball, let's say like blue and white, or let's say like red and white, right? Or red, white, and blue, you know, there's certain things like that. Just like, you know, there's certain colors, American flag colors, let's say like just different colors. So what can you think of, right? And that's a different idea to come on here to create something that's really cool and try to stand out, think of different funny, sarcastic sayings about sports. And then as we come down here, five, 1599, you're gonna see, you know, all the colors right here. That was a, that was a weird, that was that right? the different fits, you'll see that the different mock-ups are popping up. Now, if we come over here to all-time sales, we look at this, see it's made its first sale in 2018. The, you know, it kind of went, got lost, it looked like in the algorithm, but then it just started making consistent sales again. And just a weird BSR chart. And if you're unaware what this is, Amazon gives this to us when a product makes a sale on Amazon, you can track it and looking at, by looking at this, you can see the demand for that product, right? You can see that in 22 too, it's sold consistently every single year. And then it pretty much from there on out, you can see it drop down and it started selling. And then 2023 consistently selling. And then getting into 2024, it kind of shot up a bit. And then usually when that happens like that, it's like a refresh on the ASIN. That's what I'm guessing over the years. I've been doing this for about eight years now. As far as Amazon merch on demand, print on demand, selling t-shirts online, this is just when it shoots up and uh, it seems like the ASIN refreshes. They do something with the search and the algorithm, but now it's consistently selling again. Now, if we come over here, we see results. We almost win t-shirt, 816. And then if you come down, you're gonna see like, look at they're using like little football emblems. You can see the different things. Look at using a football, a soccer, right? Um, so using like uh, different elements as far as like a football, a soccer seems to be working pretty good. Uh, look at this one, this one's pretty cool. You can see what they did there with the purple shirt. That's really cool, that stands out a lot. It hasn't made a sale, but still cool design, right? Now the oranges right here, you can see all this right here. 219K, 1 million, 1 million, 2 million. Some cool designs in here, right? All right, next one. This is like a funny meme that's popping around. One thing I want to bring the two of the attention is obviously like the the car right here. You want to be very careful with that. If you like value your your Amazon merch on demand account, or if you're you plan on like doing anything like this, you want to be careful and making sure that you have the rights to use any of like these car images, right? You don't want to just go in there. Oh yeah, this is selling. Let me grab and throw it on a t-shirt. You don't want to do that. Number, rule number one: always boss up, funny cat. Now, it seems like this might be like a funny meme. Now, what 
can you do without like infringing basically is what I'm saying. But it, this design seems to be selling 4.6 out of seven ratings. Come down, look at the all time sales. It's made its first sell in 2024 of June and then just consistently selling. This is a consistent seller, which is pretty cool, but obviously you just wanna be very careful. We come over here, uh, number one rule, always boss up cat t-shirt, result of 336. We come down here, just think of different ideas. Look how this, what they did with this one here. Oh, rule number one, always boss up, uh, nine million, but it's a pretty cool design, I like what they did. Now this is the number one, 282, and it's consistently selling, but I don't think it's safe because of that car in the background. So always double check when you're looking at this stuff and I'm sharing these type of niches with you, you always wanna double check and making sure that you're double checking for trademarks and copyrights because you don't wanna be infringing. And that's the main goal. So that when I see stuff like that, it just bring it to your attention to understand like, You wanna be very careful and maybe something like this, right? It's, it seems like it's starting to sell. Well, it's not almost close to 10 million, but it's sold a few times I'm guessing. But something like this will kind of be like a workaround from something like this. But you just wanna be very careful with that. Next one, alien possum UFO. Now there's a few different ideas here. The main one I seen was a cat with the UFOs in the back and it's like doing like a selfie and they're like, whoa, like, like tripping out. It's pretty cool. Funny, oh, possum selfie, possum UFO. You kind of see what they're doing here. Pretty cool. I think like just scaling this out, I've seen a, a little bit of research on this, scaling this out and to different animals is a really good idea. I'm seeing sloths, I'm seeing cats, I'm seeing dogs, I'm seeing possums, right? And then it's pretty cool, pretty funny, like humor shirt, which is really awesome. 1895, 5.0 out of five, three ratings, come down, all time sales, let's see. So it's made its first sale in 2023 and it did really good and pretty good in 2023. Consistent seller, it's not like it's doing out of this world, but it's like more of a evergreen type seller, like. Think about if he had like 10 of these type of designs like this making consistent sales, right? But it's making sales. It's making, it seems like every other week or once or twice a month, right? And I think if you just push a little bit more ad, maybe ads to this and drop a little bit more traffic to it, because this is right here, this niche does have a demand or even just try something different and maybe a different pose, but it's a cool t-shirt. We have a result of 292 opossum UFO selfie t-shirt. Now I want you to come down here as you type in the search results, you're getting, you're seeing, you know, different types of designs, right? So there's a few different ways that you can do this. Now, if we come down, like this is what I'm talking about. So an orangutan, this is pretty cool, right? Raccoons, raccoons are big. We're always been, they've been big for the last few years, but it's a good idea when you see something like this, it's like, what else can I create? Maybe like an, you think an axolotl would work? I think that would work, I think. And look at this, like this squirrel, that's clean. Look at this cat, that's pretty funny. There's one, the main ones right here. Look at 631 KBSR, and you got the UFOs in the back and the cat like taking the selfie. So the thing about it is like taking a selfie and, and the cat has the, there's the UFOs in the back. So pretty cool design, raccoon again. Get the point, but the search results too, and keep in mind, search results do tell a story when you're looking at this type of stuff. You're looking at this page right here because it's gonna tell you a story. It's gonna show you different designs, what's selling, what's going on, what's, you know, making money. Next one, squirrel playing guitar, rock and roll. This is pretty dope. Now it's cool because it's like, you're taking, like you see something like this, obviously when we went up right here, I want you to think about this too. You see this squirrel, right? And like, right, obviously that's, that's a good design. It's selling over here. Obviously look at, now it's selling over here, right? So. And you're doing the research, you're like, this is gonna do good over here in this niche. Like, what else can I do with the squirrel? Oh, I can do this, rock and roll. Squirrel playing the drums. Like, there's so much you can go on and on and on and on. 1790, 5.0 out of five. Five ratings, you come down. Let's look at this all times, BSR. Made its first sale in 2024. And look, at, see, something like this, look at that. This thing is cranking, consistently selling. And they started off at six, it's like 1690. And then as it started consistently selling, they put it up another dollar and it's still consistently selling because it's a cool design. Look at that. Now, funny squirrel playing guitar t-shirt. We have a result of 292. Oh, look at this girl's popping up again over here. And look at, there's another squirrel. Let's go down and see what else we can, look at there's a few other squirrels playing like the electric guitar. Oh, he was playing electric guitar too, the one we're looking at too. Squirrel banjo rock, that's pretty cool. I'm trying to see anything else. Frog, we've seen that one's a popular one. Here we go, the one playing the drums. I didn't even see that either, I was just thinking about it, but it'd be a good idea too. There's a cat, and yeah, this one's a cool one too. Yeah, so there's so many different ideas that you can think of right here. I think it's really cool. All right, next one, sometimes I fall apart, and that's a taco. Sometimes I fall apart, taco, pretty cool. 4.7 out of five, 20 ratings, and come down. 
all time sales. It's made its first sale in 2018, but consistently selling over the years. If you look at even like 2024 going to Q4, you can see there's a downtrend of the BSR. And obviously the lower the BSR, the more sales it makes, but it's doing pretty good. We look for stuff like this because we want to see consistent sellers. As a print on demand seller, this is something that you want right here. You want to, if you get uploaded design today and then make sales for you the next five years, that's money, right? And you're not even doing no inventory, holding nothing, that's, that's what you want. Now, if we come over here, we have a result of 196. It's to fall apart, taco t-shirt, and there's different styles, different, different ideas in here, which is pretty cool. But I'm thinking like, what else can you do? There's different types of foods that you can do. Burritos, tacos, enchiladas, birria tacos. So there's, there's, it goes on and on and on and on. So there's a ton of different ideas that you come up with just by looking at one idea, right? And then coming up with different ideas behind it. All the research that I'm doing inside of this video, I'm using Merch Informer. This is the research tool that I use to find low competition niches. So let me go ahead and share with you how I'm using this. And my coupon code is gonna be down below the description. I get a little affiliate kickback from that. And there is a free trial. So test it out for a few days. If you don't like it, cancel before it charges you. Product research, come over here to Merch Hunter. Let me show you how you can make money with this tool and find low competition niches. So you can filter a lot of stuff out right here. We can exclude brands, which is really cool. So I'm gonna hit that, exclude that, come down right here, leave that. And then with the number of reviews, I'll keep it like 10 or so. And then I'll hit search. And me here hitting search, it's gonna basically go on to amazon.com and do some scraping over there for us to find some new t-shirt designs. Now, with certain things, obviously you still have to make sure that you're checking for your trademarks and your copyrights. You wanna make sure that you're not infringing on another brand. That's one important thing. Now, if we come down here, look at this right here. I'm voting for the convicted felon. That's a very popular one right now. If you're unaware of that, I've made some content on that too, going over that niche. Juneteenth is a real popular one right now. Let's go down right here. Let's say, for example, look at this right here. Well, I went over this one too. I found this one. Let's go ahead and click on this listing. It's 4th of July and then we have fighter jets, but they're and on the back of the fighter jets. It's basically showing the American flag, which is a really, really cool design. Now let's come over here to all time sales. Let's check this out. It's made its first sale in 2023, right? But look at this. There's a big demand for this right now and it's cranking. It seems like it cranks throughout the whole year and makes a lot of sales. So this is one way that I look to see what people are buying. And now what can else can you create that's related to this right here? But this is crazy because this is an evergreen niche, right? Obviously they're targeting for the July, but this is an evergreen niche that's going to sell all year long. By looking at the BSR chart, we're seeing that right there, right? Now let's keep going down and there's a ton of stuff down here that you probably not even heard, like you never even thought about, right? Done a little bit more, more. Merry 4th of happy, uh, you know the thing. Now let's click on something like this. Now, Joe Biden funny design. If we come down, we're looking at this. Look at the all time sales. So it's made its first sale in 2023, but look at right now, it's cranking and making a lot of sales right now. Now, the main goal behind this is just to see like, what, what's the demand? What, what are people buying right now? What can I do? What can I create? You know, and then get an idea from that. As I'm looking at all this stuff, there's so many different niches that you can go after in here. That's just, I'm just showing you one way that you can use this tool. Here's another fighter jet design, which is pretty cool, right? They kind of turn it the opposite way. And you can just come down here and just never run out of ideas just here for the wieners, right? Fourth of July design. Look at that. Let's see. Click on this. Oh, it looks good on the all white t-shirt, which is nice, but let's look at the all time sales. It's made its first sell in April, 2024, but like this, this is a newer design that's making sales. Something like this, like when I spy, when I see something like this, people are buying, obviously buying this type of design right now. It's a good idea to figure out something that you're of your own and make something like this. And so that's how I leverage Merch Informer to help me come up with awesome new ideas. And there's a whole suite back here. You can even design, create your own design back here. And there's a ton that can be done with this tool. Really awesome tool. And if you want more low competition niches like this, watch this video right here next. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out.